And as you know, try as you may, scrub as you may, but as the old folks say, <laughs> what's done in the dark will come to the light. And you can't get rid of all your dirt. So, this is a summary um, and the charges and the plea deal. Uh, actually, the plea deal remains uh, uh, available on the Los Angeles Superior Court systems. But the most of this stuff has really been scrubbed from the internet because uh, they didn't want to leave no trail of how of a much of a predator Jeremy Geffen was. And I'm going to get to David Geffen after this, though. But anyway, here's the case number, XCNBA33778-01. Defendant named Jeffen, uh, Jeremy Nathaniel. Violation data, December 1st, 2008. Filing date, October, I mean 2000, what is that, 6, I'm sorry. I, I can't see the date. I think this is 2008. Okay. Anyway. Um, charge 261A Penal Code. It's charge. This is, do I have to open this? I can't believe this because what's happening is they have these charges. And then what you see right written over it when you search the code. They basically is just dismissed. Dismissed. <laughs> dismissed. It just goes down the list. Um, no matter how much legislative in, legislative information that I look up in terms of you know these charges, they're just not there. And I find that downright dis uh, disgusting because I read y'all the cases and what they what he was charged with so here we go court number one dismiss or not prosecuted uh 10 7 2008 dismissed or not prosecuted the other charge dismissed or not prosecuted dismissed or not prosecuted dismissed but not prosecuted Dismissed or not prosecuted. His pleas were not guilty, not guilty, not guilty, all down. And then it's got dismissed and not prosecuted. Every darn thing that I've opened up. October 7, 2008 at 9 a.m. Location, Santa Clara, Short Ridge. Certified police sentencing. Um, when I go there, what does it say? Dismissed, not prosecuted. Wow. And then it's got the last thing, the summary this posted was April. Receipt bond number, they got that down there as well. Um, they got the security company, the register number, the amount of the bill was two million dollars. And the final finding exonerated <laughs> I'll be damned well first they sentenced him to probation for five years after the jur after saying he was facing the 20 then they in lieu of that they take the jail term and they dismissed it all and got it expunged off his record That's what white privilege gets you in America. No sex predator. No registering as a sex offender. No alcohol, drug program. He gave everybody dope. And he was taking it. Little kids. Nothing. Nothing. But they want to tarnish Michael legacy as a pedophile and every other black man that's successful. And that's really just the same mantra that those Nazis did in Germany 
when they wanted to vilify and they just wanted to uh, criminalize Jewish people. It's the same blueprint. The same blueprint for black people and more specifically black men. Because this right here is a cesspool full of filth and there's no way in the world that this guy should have had all these charges dismissed and not prosecuted. I can't even give y'all nothing else. There's, there's nothing else there. All the charges gone. Poor girls who were drugged, molested, had objects put up in them. Oh, forget about them. They're not worth nothing. Because this man could afford to give uh, Los Angeles $2 million just to make this stuff go away. This is disgusting. And don't say he's not here to defend himself. He can't defend himself. These are the, this is, this is it. These are the charges. You were found guilty. And the next thing you know, it all went away. You scrubbed your sordid criminal past from the internet and anywhere else besides going down to Los Angeles court or have to find those records. I want y'all to tell me what you think about that. I want to know what you think. So, you know, leave your comment below. And we're going to discuss this further, family, because this is the kind of hideous double standard that has just got to stop. If we're talking about there's no way in the world we can continue to exist in this kind of America with this type of unjust treatment, unfairness. It just got to stop. Or people like, so if you're going to prosecute people like R. Kelly, then we can no longer have the other side of the coin. People like Jeremy Geffen and Harvey Weinstein allowed to do what they do and they get their sort of criminal records scrubbed. <laughs> Insane. All right, y'all. Leave your comments below and I'll be back with another video.